I've always had the urge to venture to faraway places and fill my mind with adventures. It's only this past week though that I've realised I don't need to travel too far to find what I'm looking for. So my van is due for some repairs and it means I won't have it for around a week. I thought I'd use this time wisely. Over the next few days while I don't have my van, I'll be exploring my hometown, finding places I never knew existed and appreciating its simplicity. I'll be bringing my phone and a drone along with me, also a pair of old running trainers that have seen some miles. It's probably time to replace them to be honest. I've really enjoyed running recently, so that's what I'll be doing. I'm calling this the Hometown Explorer. So, a lot of us, myself included for sure, I think we always look for the adventure that's far away from home. But there is still some excitement to be had closer to home in my eyes. And uh, yeah, that's my challenge. Every time I think of you know like my local area where I grew up, I'm like, being there, done that. Let's move on to a different place. But there's some paths, cycle paths, running paths, little routes down forests that I haven't taken. And I just wanna, I should, I'm, I'm like a map. I don't know what they call them, a mapper. <laughs> I'm gonna map my local area, every last bit of it, and see what I find past year I've really got into running it's been on like the down low I haven't really told anyone about it but I'll probably run about four or five days a week and I keep progressively getting further and further and I'm probably the fittest I've ever been right now I was in the army from the ages of like 19 to 23 and I'm still fitter than then which is crazy 25 right now and I'm probably the fittest I've ever been uh, so yeah right now though a bit of boring kind of stuff my van is in for its annual MOT check and I'm, I haven't got it basically it failed on a load of stuff it's getting repairs done and I haven't got the van now for about a week I haven't had it for about two or three days um, so I've always wanted to make a video about running in the past six months especially I've really liked it really really liked it just nice to get out get fresh air and uh, get fit but to be honest being fit that's like a byproduct for me. I just like getting out. This is like where I grew up. It's where I used to play football as a kid. And um, yeah, I just like finding new places. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. So I haven't got a van and this is the perfect time just to try and be creative and <laughs> create something around my local area, which is mad. Never thought I'd do it, but yeah, let's go. Really enjoying it. And uh, it's just nice to get out. A bit gray in England, but <laughs> It's about, you just got to make the most of where you are, haven't you? I often used weather as an excuse, but it's time I started to embrace the wet and grey of the UK. So winter's in full swing then, you can see all around us. Only the evergreens, we've got the leaves on. The breath, you can't really tell, it's not, it's pretty mild actually for December. What is it now? It's like the 15th of December. And it's pretty mild. I can still, look, I can still feel my hands. <sighs> Fresh air. It's like I've never been outside. You wouldn't, you wouldn't think of actually. <laughs> it's just good to appreciate stuff, you know. Look at these squirrels there. Eh? It was literally right there next to my foot. <laughs> Wildlife for you. With all the recent rain, it had turned everything into a bog. I was soon to find this out. Oh. <laughs> nice. Fun fact, this was a golf course at one point. It's been sold off. It's been let. It's in disrepair now, but good for running on. It's nice and soft. This this was like the green. I've just come down this little like alleyway, and that's another like golf course hole. And I didn't even know this was here. I I can't even remember using this to be honest. And it just brought me out here. Saves me going around like all the way around. It's just little things like that. <laughs> 
So the next day, I decided to go on a night run. I say night run, but what I mean is I run at 4pm during winter in the UK. Spare a thought for us Northern Europeans. I'm not really a night runner to be honest. I've always preferred running during the day. That way I can see the places I'm running through. Plus, you don't really get mugged during the day. With all the Christmas lights against the backdrop of the dark of night, it made for a pretty cool run in my eyes. That being said, I can definitely see why people run at night. There's something pretty calming about it. It's just you and the run. All right, got a bit of a dilemma. So, every time I came down this way, I've been down this way a few times, and I usually take that way, but there's a fork in the road. I might go right. I say we head down this way. Might lead to nothing, but it's worth a shot. I'm lucky that two minutes away from my hometown, there's 360 degrees of countryside. Whatever way you decide to go, you'll find it. It's always so peaceful. You get the old cattle grid that you can break your ankle on, but other than that, it's brilliant. It's a foggy day today, I tell you that for free. Whew. Take a look at this. Let's come across that bridge there. It's down some quiet country lanes, but you cannot see 10 feet in front of you. It's uh, cold, freezing actually. I not feel my hands. So what I do is, one sec, I usually go on like this uh, trail, like the track, but as you can see, following some random signs down some country lanes and see where we end up. <laughs> Got some cars coming on. So yeah, I don't know where I'm gonna end up. If I ever get lost, I could just use my maps on my phone, but. This is what running is about. I love weather like this for running. <sighs> Except when you get in, you can't feel your hands, but yeah, you just don't sweat. <laughs> That's what's good about it. <laughs> you just keep going. And there are some big houses. Take a look at this. <laughs> if you can see through the fog. Acre after acre. <laughs> Could be some footballers or something down here. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear this, but you just hear like the droplets of water falling on the leaves. So if you're watching this then, this will probably be released around Christmas time just before so if you celebrate it, Merry Christmas, have a good one. Uh, and a new year, 2022, hopefully will be an even better year in terms of like me just releasing more videos. <laughs> 2021 was all right, you know, in terms of like YouTube stuff. I just want to go even, even harder, 2022. Do more stuff, you know challenge myself more and hopefully just everything relaxes and I can go abroad because <laughs> the UK I mean there's more stuff there's stuff to do still but eventually I'm going to run out of things right now then I'm recording on an iPhone 13 Pro Max just recently ordered it and the idea was I had a crappy iPhone 8 still working and all that but it was just slow, you know? I was due an upgrade, so I got this, and it's, it's insane. So much better. I use like a DSLR, like a really heavy camera. It's really good with a big lens, expensive lens, but just for what I do, like outdoors and stuff, and carrying it around, it's just not viable. Um, you know, so I'm getting rid of all that, and that basically will pay for this phone. So this is like a two in one, it's my phone my maps and my camera all in one and yeah it's insane <laughs> really happy with it just gotta be careful with it so i don't drop it but yeah that's my like christmas present for myself
Just spot some horses. They gotta be cold, surely. <laughs> This is exactly what I wanted this video to be then. It just proves you don't have to go too far from your hometown to find an adventure. This morning I never even knew this existed. And I'll probably be coming here a lot more now. It's just really quiet. And so close to home to where I grew up. So yeah, happy about that. And I mean the weather's good for running. So yeah. But we've all that's going on in the world today. We're kind of limited to how we can travel, aren't we? So hopefully it just inspires some of you maybe just to get out in your local town, your city, explore places you haven't seen before. You don't have to go too far. You know, it doesn't have to cost you an arm and a leg to find an adventure, is what I'm trying to say. I could have just said that in five seconds, but you know, yeah, that's the video, I think.